What's up, folks? It is once again Dr. Rami LeBeau, and I'm here in the X Layer to help you with your deep seated, unquenchable desire for absolutely too many X Men statues the X Men statue withdrawal syndrome. I am sorry that I have to be here to tell you this, but um, this statue is only going to help you get through the next day or so. So if if that if if you were looking to satisfy your urges for more than that i would suggest looking into getting the entire set of the original x-men statues because this is only the final component released by bowen designs of the set of the original five x-men finally we have the final statue this is bobby drake iceman in his original form in which he's like really coarse like he hasn't learned how to smooth out his body yet um, he's just kind of like snowy uh, It's not the most attractive look for him and thus the statue is kind of like it's kind of ugly It's pretty much the ugliest statue I have I'd say and um, Probably my least favorite uh, new addition in a very long time, but Because it's part of the set it carries a lot more value than it's it does just based on its own design and so because of that I'm super happy to have it I love having the final five the final component of the original five X-Men set I love having that set complete finally I got the X-Factor set complete a while back I've had the 70s X-Men and my 80s X-Men pretty much as complete as possible my 90s X-Men as well I've got a nice modern set going and I went for the original five, but it took so long for the five statues to be released uh, that, I mean, it's been forever. And I've just always kind of had that incomplete, and now it's complete. And I feel complete, and I hope you do too. <laughs> as complete as you can be, uh, you know, with some statues uh, that are amazing and awesome. Anyway, um... Some of you may uh, recognize this statue as being basically the X-Factor Iceman statue, which is translucent, um, but in its in, a, in an opaque painted coarse version of that. Uh, so regardless of the final sort of uh, effect that this version of the statue has, the actual sculpt of the statue is fantastic. I love it. I think it's great. I love the X Factor version. I love the modern version, not the modern, the 90s version, which came out also recently, which was a collector's club exclusive. That one looks great as well. So um, there's three versions of the statue and I, I, I like them all. There's actually another version of the statue, which is just a, a variant on the 90s uh, translucent one, but it is opaque and it is painted and it looks very cool as well. So there's really four of these. Uh, I have three of them. Um, they're it, they're great. I'm, they were done by the Kutreks. I'm pretty sure the Kutrek brothers, and they just they never miss the mark. Um, th there's there's ultimately nothing wrong with this statue. It's just you know in the way that it was, in the sort of the look that it was going like, that it was looking to achieve. It, it was bound to be kind of ugly. <laughs> I mean I I don't think you could avoid it. Um, so, uh, but whatever. Again, it completes my original X-Men set. Super happy about that. And um, all right, let's get some details on this statue. Um, okay, so this is number 38 of what seems to be 217. So <laughs> it's ugly. It's not the best statue in the world, but it's going to be super rare for the people that um, are looking to make the original five set this might end up being like a super rare item and uh, super hard to get in the future. Not right now, not probably in the next five years, but in 10 years, probably, when people are like, I want the Bowen Designs original five X-Men statues, and they're like, oh shite, they only made 217 of the Iceman, um, which is less than the other statues. I forget how much the other ones what the production run was on the other ones but um, you can check it out you can check that information out on the other videos for the original five I've got them all in a um, in a uh, sort of sub uh, heading on, on my YouTube page for the original five if you scroll down there's like the 60s X-Men and I have videos for all five of those and you can check out the the edition sizes for all of those but man 217 
that makes this puppy rare. Hopefully, um, hopefully there won't be too many people that are missing this statue in their uh, original five set. But I mean, just it's likely that that will happen. Um, there was actually another original five set done by I think I forget who it was. I think it was Diamond. I don't know who it was. Um, it wasn't that great. The Bowen set is actually a lot better. So I, but that's always an option for people that are looking to get statues of the original five X Men. Um, there is another set out there for those that may be watching this in 2187 and um, you are looking for this particular statue that you're never going to find. Uh, so, um, so there's hope. There's hope for you, my friends. All right. So this is, again, this is, uh, this is a decent, uh, this is, it's not decent. It's ugly. It's an ugly version of the statue, but it's a decent addition to the original five set. The base uh, is like the other bases, somewhat uh, uh, silvery, sort of grayish color, which uh, is consistent with the other bases for the original five. Fantastic. Uh, also has the clumps of, of ice on it with the glitter, which is nice. But I kind of wish, I don't know if it would have worked or not, but maybe if they had thrown some glitter on the, um, on the actual statue to kind of give it that glistening sort of snowy quality. Maybe it would have made it a little better. Maybe not. Maybe it would have made it a little hokey. Err. Uh, you know, there's no way to really tell. It looks fine, but I, I really like the what they did with these Iceman bases and the clumps of, of, uh, of ice. I don't know if I said clay in the past, but I didn't mean clay. I meant ice and, um, and the glitter that makes it glisten as though it's just freshly sort of melting s snow or just glistening snow. Very cool. Um, beyond that, we got the yellow boots. I'm pretty sure somebody said, or some folks mentioned that the boots were supposed to be blue or something. I think I'm, I might, I might be wrong. I think I, I might be wrong. Um, I, I like that they're yellow. They're the same color as most of the other original five statues, uh, except for, as you all know, Cyclops, the first one released, his yellow is a little bit off. It's slightly lime green, but it makes him stand out as the leader. So I'm happy with it. It's fine. And if you see the photo that I posted on my blog post, which you can look at by clicking here, of the original five together, um, you can see that they look fantastic together. They look great. So um, there's really, you, I mean, one could nitpick small things, you know, till till you know next week. But in the end, this is what we have, and what we have is on balance great. So I'm happy with it. Um, so beyond the boots, we got the very sort of uh, coarsely uh, formed uh, texture of his body. Um, and it's basically white with some like light blue sort of uh, highlights uh, just to give it that kind of like that snowy quality. And beyond that, I mean, it's like it's the same physique as the other statues, same face. It's a, it's a, it's 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 a good it's a good statue. It's a good statue of Bobby, but it's certainly the ugliest version of the ugliest variant of this particular sculpt. Um, I think I'm pretty much done here. There ain't much more to say about it. I'll, I'll do a comparison of, about it soon with the uh, with the X Factor version, just to give you sort of a side by side look at these two statues. Uh, just to kind of allow you to examine which one you may like more if you're not looking for an original five set and you're just an Iceman fan. And I mean, there might be some people that really love this statue. You know, opinions are are completely relative and completely transitory. And, and you know, you could have your own. <laughs> you might love the look of this statue. I don't, but I don't know if you could have made it any better. You know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe if he was translucent too. Maybe, I don't know. Definitely something to think about, but not right now because I'm done talking about this statue. Um, let me just give it one more twirl. It might be a little bright in the video because um, it's like, it's capturing a lot of the light in the room and I tried to control for that, but sometimes it's difficult when I'm using sort of unprofessional equipment and lighting equipment, which is just my the lamps around my apartment. Uh, but hopefully it came out good enough for you guys to check it out uh, and be able to see all the fine-ish detail on the statue. 
All right, well, um, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for checking out my video and my YouTube channel. It's X Men Dr. Remy Lebeau's X Lair. That's the name of my YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, you are more than welcome to do so. I have more stuff coming. I think in January, I'm going to have January 2014, which is right now. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Astonishing Wolverine coming by Bowen Designs and the Strife statue, the clone of Cable statue, which is going to be pretty cool, I think. Um, that's supposed to be coming at the end of uh, January as well, so I'm super excited about that. And that and that pretty much is going to get us to almost the end of the pipeline for Bowen Designs. It's been a very weird time the last few months. Um, in that Bone Designs hasn't been releasing much uh, as far as pre-orders go. And so uh, I've got that Strife statue coming. And then I think I have Mojo after that, which is which will be months later. And then there doesn't seem to be anything else in the pipeline. So it's going to be a while before there will be new stuff after that, which I'm kind of happy about because I'm certainly at capacity in my collection room. And, um, you know... There's only so much money I can spend on these statues. I'm not, I'm lying. I'm, of course, I'm willing to spend more money. If, the, if, if more great statues come out, I'm willing to buy them. That's just the way I am. I'm sure you guys can relate. Um, fortunately, we also have the Apocalypse Premium Format figure by Sideshow Collectibles coming in June of 2014, which I am super stoked about and cannot wait for. That is going to be um, yet another gem in my collection. Mm, mm, can't wait for that one. But till then, fortunately, I have a few things to hold me over, as I mentioned. So stay tuned for all those updates, as well as other statues that I have yet to feature from my collection uh, being uh, videoed and posted uh, probably in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for those. And again, my blog is X-Men Statues of Future Past.blogspot.com. On there, you can check out photos corresponding to each statue um, and which you can access via the uh, the links on the bottom lay, bottom right of your screen, uh, which says blog post. You can just click on that. It'll take you to my blog, and you can check out the photos I've taken of each statue um, relating to each um, video that I've uh, that shot. So there's more content on there, and I'll have other stuff coming in the future. Of course, I'm not going to give up on you, nor my collection. I love it. I'm here. I'm in, I'm in this for life. So, uh, again, uh, you know, if you have some comments on the statue, make sure to comment. If not, uh, thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I hope everything's good with you guys. And uh, as always, X in the box because ain't nobody checking me. I'll catch you all very soon. Take care and bye-bye.